Y'all, you'll never guess what happened. I'm over here switching out uh, my couch cushions because some of them up in the 80s decided it was a good idea to put springs in the cushion. Anyways, got this nice foam. I'm sitting here, right, cutting it up. Getting on the last one because I'm excited because it's working, right? With my razor blade because all my tools are in Smithville. Anyways, I pick up the razor blade, push on the wrong side of it, okay? And I didn't realize until it started hurting, so you know it was getting pretty deep. And I looked at it, and I was like, oh, shoot. Come on, really? Nate. And it was bleeding. Like, it was, it was going. So... I went to the, the bathroom, held it under the sink, just held it there for a while, still just running red. And then I, so I got some paper towels and uh, held it there and sat on the couch. And I practiced meditation. I've been practicing meditation for like an, a year and a half now, right? This is the first time that I'm starting to adapt those principles that I've learned just sitting there and doing nothing into my own life and these daily actions. I'm like, you can put this type of energy into anything. So I was sitting there, and I was taking deep breaths, imagining my lungs filling up with air, right? And you know blood has air in it, it's oxygen, right? And white blood cells is what makes cuts stop bleeding, they clog, right? So I sit there and breathe in and focused oxygen, extra oxygen, extra white blood cells going all the way down my arm to the end of my finger, right? Just did that for a minute or two. Just focusing on all of the oxygen going through my arm, going through my finger. And I kid you not, guys, pulled off the thing, it had stopped bleeding, okay? And this is like, you know, maybe four minutes into me cutting myself. This wasn't a long time. Go to the bathroom, I just tell it, thank you, it stopped bleeding. And I knew that it was like kind of right up where the cut was is, so I got some liquid bandage and just sealed it up because I don't want it to open again. But it's one of those things that you do these practices, you do a meditation, you do this intention, you do this thing, and then it happens, okay, and then it works. And then you're like, well, would it have worked anyways? Uh, you know, you can't go back and replay and watch the timeline of you not doing that versus the one you doing it. So it takes an amount of faith and and you know, it's like you don't know, it's as using energy you can't see, but the result is here. The result is in front of you. And still your mind is like, well, your body was going to do that anyways, you know? It's like, yeah, sure it was. Yeah, it knows what to do. But I have control over my body. I'm, I'm literally moving my body right now at will. You don't think that that power also has to do with your internal body, even though you can't see past your flesh? You can focus your energy on different parts of your body that you can bring healing to, you can bring motivation to, you can move just like you're moving your body. You can bring that energy into every part of your body. That's my thoughts. What do you think? No, seriously, tell me what you think.